Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, forget everything that you think you know about bumblebees because they are arrogant little arseholes. I'm here to tell the truth about them because everyone thinks they're harmless. They're lovely, you know, oh, save a bee because they're dying out. You know, you see one fly past with his bloated fat body and these tiny little ridiculous wings that shouldn't even make it fly. You think it's cute, you think it's comical. Right? It's wasps that everyone thinks are the evil little knobheads and they are. Wasps are evil, right? You know, they, they sting, they sting, they sting, they fly off and still live. They're ultra obnoxious. They're basically the French of the bloody insect world, right? But bumblebees are even worse. Today, I went out to my garden with my morning coffee, right? I've only just woken up, mind you. Go to sit down on the chair, sit down, and suddenly I feel a massive, massive pain in my ass. I jump up, right? I look down, and there's this fat little bastard bumblebee writhing on the chair. I've sat on it right in the cleft of my bloody buttocks, basically, and somehow that little bastard is still alive, right? So I've left it there because I thought, like, I, I, it stung me. It's going to die. I need to go in and sort this out. It, it was in a very tender place, right? Basically, very close to where arse meets hole. And, you know, I suffer from hemorrhoids. So I was worrying at this point that I've been speared, harpooned by this bloody stinger or something. So straight away, I'm off up into the bathroom thinking I'll deal with him later. He's going to die. I'll check on it in a minute, right? So I've got upstairs to the bathroom. Obviously, I need to get this stinger out of my arse is what I'm thinking. Who can I ask? I'm not going to get my mum to come in and inspect my bum. So basically, I'm having to just touch myself in the bathroom. I can't see it in a bloody mirror. I can't get there. So I'm running my hands over my inner buttocks. Like some kind of bloody pervert or something. Cannot find a stinger. I'm perplexed by this, right? I'm thinking, how the hell has this happened? You know, bees, everyone knows it. They leave their stinger in you and then they bugger off and die, right? So I go downstairs and I go out to look at this bumblebee. He's gone. He's scappered. How the hell is he gone? He's meant to die. And he's somehow, he's got away. I'm the one who's not even got a body. Just die. I'm in pain, right? And he's buggered off. So I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it. Bumblebees don't die. They can just sting your willy bloody nilly like a wasp is. Basically, it's a fat, overweight wasp is what a bumblebee is. There's no consequences for it. Right? And they're being encouraged into this all by the bloody hippie soy-socking spasmoids. You're like, oh, save the bumblebees. Leave a saucer a sweetened water out for them to drink if they get tired. They're getting lazy. They're getting lazy. They're lying around waiting for these saucers of bloody sweetened water and unsuspecting people like me are sitting on it right, and getting stung. And the thing's not even bloody dying. I didn't even get the satisfaction of stamping on the little bastard. Honestly, bumblebees are just overweight wasps. Avoid them.